Of Goshen signed an executive order adding LGBT protections to the city's hiring process. We first told you about this yesterday. Now we're learning what this means for Goshen businesses. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is at the live desk right now. And Suzanne, it's not clear when the mayor plans to sign that ordinance. But it is clear that Mayor Alan Kaufman is adding the language gender, gender identity and sexual orientation to the city's hiring process. That means the LGBT community would have another layer of protection during the hiring and firing process. For 13 years, Esteban Figueroa created a name for himself in Goshen's haircutting network. I like to cut hair and make people happy. <laughs> he says his beliefs on LGBT relationships doesn't impact the business that walks through his door. I got uh, clients that are gay, so I don't, I don't really care what they do with, with their life, you know. It's my job to, you know, serve people. The city is taking it one step further than Figueroa. Mayor Alan Kaufman plans to sign an executive order that will affect the city's hiring process. It allows the city to investigate complaints of sexual orientation and gender discrimination. Councilman and mayoral candidate Jeremy Stutzman supports the idea. You've been seeing the movement throughout the country, and we keep referring to the LGBT crowd, but really what we're referring to are our neighbors and our friends and our family. One of those people is Kelly Pacal, who is openly bisexual. A lot of them that have to hide who they are. They can't mention their wives or husbands or spouses. Um, for fear of their boss retaliating against them. Aside from the mayor, that's one reason why the Goshen City Council took up the issue. This hot button issue has really integrated itself into the streets of Goshen after the city council tabled two resolutions or statements of support adding LGB protections as well as an amendment to the civil rights ordinance. The mayor's decision only impacts the city's hiring process, but the council's decision to amend the ordinance would affect businesses because it could become a law. In the meantime, Figueroa just hopes people keep coming back to his business. Another council member I spoke with is against the proposed resolutions and amendment. She told me it's not necessary to bring it up because it's not a problem. The mayor of Goshen was in unable to speak with WSBT 22 today. In a release, he said the council tabled the two resolutions and amendment until next year. At the live desk, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News.